Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how can you utilize chat GPT power into your Google Docs. So just to give you a little preview before starting this video, let's say I want to, I need to generate an application for you. So, again. the manager's name and I'm writing you to request a leave or absence from my position ABC um, the company and it also uh, mentioned the date and some other I have made all the necessary arrangements to ensure that my work my work responsibilities are covered due to during my absence so let's uh, let's see now how can you set up uh, GPT into your sheet Create an account on OpenAI. After that, um, go to uh, click on your uh, personal here and uh, <coughs> view API keys. Here you will have to generate a new one. Click on the new secret key and copy this key. After that, go to your Google Doc. Let me close this one. Click on the extension. You will find it. At, uh, uh, you will find this. Uh, at the top of your document here extensions click on it go to add-on get add-on now search for GPT for sheets and docs click on this one uh, you have to install the first one which is around 1.2 million downloads click click this one and uh, if you have not already installed then install it. once this once this add-on is installed then go to the extension again you will see the add-on will display here after that click on set API key just uh, as I copied this uh, key that I created paste it here and click on check Okay, check it again. Okay, your OpenAI API key is valid. Mm -hmm. Then save API key. Okay, after that, uh, click on the extension again. Uh, click on your add-on and launch sidebar. Okay, this is the sidebar for the uh, GPT. So, as I showed you in the first example, I created an, a an application. You can create any kind of application and whatever you want to do. Um, the interesting thing is, let's uh, there are other features as well. Let's say um, give let me clear the highlights first and uh, increase the font size. Okay, let me increase the font size as well. Okay, give me a paragraph on on the 21st century. 21st century and uh, word count should be uh, less than. 400, 400 words. <coughs> After that, just uh, <coughs> you have an option here. Insert setting. Where do you want to insert the generated paragraph or generated content by Chat GPT? Um, <coughs> I personally like to insert at the end of the document, and I want to highlight that generated content so I know that this uh, specific content is created by the GPT. Um, in this setting, uh, Open AI setting just uh, uh, leave it mod <coughs> leave the model as gpt 3.5 turbo and the temperature shows you uh, the creativity of the gpt the maximum value is one which means that the gpt will be more creative and the zero uh, it will not be that creative um, the leave rest of the fields as it is and um, yeah, click on the submit button wait for the gpt response okay perfect now you have uh, the content that is generated by the GPT. Let me change the font and increase the size a bit. Okay. Now you can do multiple things on this content. First of all, let's uh, translate it into something, some other language. Um, let's translate into Spanish, and then hit on submit button. 
Okay, perfect. You see the whole uh, paragraph is now converted into Spanish. Let's use uh, now Arabic. Let's uh, convert Spanish into Arabic, okay? That will be interesting. So I'm going to type the Arabic and hit on submit button. Okay, now uh, we get the uh, Arabic version of the same content. Just to be verify, I want to translate this uh, context into English again. So that we'll see that how uh, the difference between the original content which was in English and the content after uh, multiple after converting into multiple languages. We'll see is there any difference. Okay. So the 21st century has marked a significant progress and the 20th century has marked a significant achievement advancement. And yes, there uh, will be some uh, like uh, 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 maybe a minute difference, but the the main theme of main theme of the content will be I believe will be the same. So let's do something else with this paragraph now. Okay, let me copy this and uh, let's summarize this paragraph. Click on the summarize and hit submit button. Okay, you see uh, now our, our text or content is summarized. Um, previously it ha it was like, uh, I do not know the word count, but uh, it is definitely uh, now summarized. Uh, we can also check for the grammar and spelling um, mistakes. Let's say uh, if I type S, okay, and let's change some spelling and then test out the spelling one, the spelling option. Perfect. Now copy this and test for the grammar and spelling. Uh, okay, it's a uh, globalization. Yes, it did correct all the uh, mistakes, spelling or grammar mistakes, and then change the tone. Okay, this this one is the interesting one. Okay, then copy it, change the tone to competitive, and then hit submit button. Okay, competitors, listen up. I am in the carpet game, and I need you. Four killer taglines to leave you in the dust. Bring your A game because I am ready to dominate the market with my brand. Give me four. Mm, I think I need to remove this. And hit submit button. My carbon brand is the best in the market and no one can beat it. Well, you see the point here. You can um, do many things in uh, by integrating chat GPT into your Google Docs. So that's it for this video. If you enjoy or learn something new, then uh, hit the like button so the video reach out to more people. So anyways, this is for this video. I will see you in the next.